There is a palpable sense of intensity here at the Burridge Gymnasium as you walk through the David Braley Center. 45 minutes before game time, they were already lined up, ready to get in to the Burridge Gym. And it's a sellout to watch the two teams who have dominated the OUA landscape since 2004-2005. Queens have won six OUA championships. McMaster has won 11 OUA championships. No other team has won an OUA championship. They'll battle again in the final for the first time since 2019. The number three team in the country, the McMaster Marauders, and the number five team in the country, the Queen's Gales, and it's next on OUA TV and cbcsports.ca. Good evening, everybody. Steve Clark here at a jam-packed Burridge Gymnasium. If there is an empty seat, I can't see it. A crowd ready to bust out. The Gales have brought a large contingent down, and it's expected to be jumping from the beginning. A reminder, from providing resources to officiating games to telling stories and more, the OUA would like to extend a sincere thank you to all their tremendous partners, milk to go Sports, Centaur Products, Invest Hotels, Baron Rings, and others, the award store for the continued support of university sport in the province and their meaningful contributions to the overall OHL experience. And also today is International Women's Day, and the OUA, along with McMaster, pleased to celebrate the incredible contributions on and off the playing field field of the women's student athletes, coaches, and administrators from across the province. Today and every day, let's all inspire inclusion. While you can tell who is being announced as the starting lineup right now, as the crowd gets into it. For the Gales, who will be dressed in yellow, the OUA Player of the Year, Eric Sixna, Lexin Rabbit, Zig Litsis, Chris Zimmerman, Dax Tompkins, Isaac Zabjak. It's a formidable starting lineup that McMaster has to deal with. These teams split during the regular season. That was at Queens, January 26th and 27th. Queens won 3-0 in the front end of the doubleheader. McMaster won 3-0 in the back end of the doubleheader. And McMaster won two preseason games, but that was already all, with all the way back in late September and early October. What does that mean? Who knows? These teams are focused on the next five sets or less. McMaster dressed in the maroon and gray. They will start a familiar lineup. Fujisawa, Mills, Pavlik, Patterson, Graton. who will sit down for the starting libero, Ben Kirkhoff. And Reed Benning is ready to get us underway. Five aces in the suite versus the University of Toronto that Queens was able to complete in the first round of the playoffs. Underway, Kirkhoff will give Queens the early opportunity. They will go right side and it's dropped in by Venning. Here is Mills. And it's Queens off that net scramble winning the first point. Both teams a little bit tentative for that first point. Nobody set up the big kill. Venning high toss long and we're tied at one. It'll be the OUA Rookie of the Year, Brady Patterson, who will kick things off for McMaster. Not 
the biggest player, but a big serve, big hops. That one is wide. Queens has a 2-1 lead. A lot of nervous energy in the building here. A crowd with a lot of maroon, but there's also a solid section of yellow for the Queens. Big serve, Kirkhoff did well, but it's a free hit and the OUA Player of the Year, Eric Sixna has no problem, gales out to a quick 3-1 lead. So Zig Litsis, he was a first team OUA All-Star. From Colorado, and another service error, it's 3-2. That is the third service error between the two teams. Not unexpected. Queens, by the way, the best serving team when it comes to aces in the OUA. Tyler Pavlik will try. Floats one. Set up, six now, nah, how about Brendan Mills denying the OUA player of the year. McMaster knows you get and keep the crowd in it. It's an added element. Back set off the block, way too much power from Reed Venning out of Curtis, Ontario in the Durham region. Floated over, that's Tompkins with the serve. Mills gets it loaded up. He's able to go off the block. The defense was set up by Sixna and Zabjak. But enough power generated that the combo couldn't keep it in play. Brendan Mills comes right down the middle, but he can spin it with power and hit a pure power serve. Pure power and it is just long. Six officials for the OUA final. Ref first referee, second referee, and four line judges. Tough one. Patterson couldn't keep it in play. Middle set, and that is the bread and butter of Zabchek. In the win versus McMaster, Zabjek was three for three when it came to kills. That's a perfect percentage. Diving play, Kirkhoff set up for Mills. He's a little far away from the net. And Queens has an early 7-4 lead, doing just what they wanted to do. Out of the gate, get a quick start, be front runners, keep this large crowd at bay. Chris Zimmerman, outstanding setter for Queens, is the server. Kirkhoff, Fujisawa, Graton's first opportunity, a great roll shot. Placed it well, 7-5, and Graton will serve. Graton, first team all-star. 23 kills in the playoffs for Graton. His serve, roll serve off the net, set up in the middle. And a great play by Kirkhoff as he denies Jabs Abjek and then Mills just destroyed that ball off the block. It's 7 6. Graton to tie the game. Another one with a big serve. There's the power serve. It's handled by Litsis. Set up and Litsis just has to get it over. Opportunity McMaster. Set up in the middle and Kaiken had to really extend and stretch to get on top of that one. Three in a row by McMaster. We're tied at seven. Graton. High toss, big serve. Knox Rabbit on his back and into the net. 
It's Venning and McMaster is feeding off the serve of Max Graton. It is a difference maker for sure. Graton, that one is long, but McMaster will be happy with what Graton was able to do from the service line. Three big serves, three big points in a row, tied at eight. And here is the man with the most aces in the OUA this year, 52 aces in conference play, and that's why it is an ace for Sitzna. Six foot six from Markham is Sitzna. That one was perfectly placed back line. Go big or go home approach from Sitzna. That one is crashing into the net. We're tied at nine. And Kaiken will serve for McMaster. Kaiken, an all rookie team member for the OUA this year. Nice spinning serve set up for Venning. A tremendous cross court hit inside the line. Queens with a 10 9 lead. Both of these teams have so many weapons that they can hit you with. Here's Zabjek. 10 10. That's long. Lex and Rabbit checking in. The OUA Award of Merit winner and also an EDI champion this year. A transfer from TMU, Fujisawa down the line. Set up right side Venning. Great defense by Ragosi. Here is Patterson denied all. Fujisawa somehow got it over. What a play by Graton. Big finish, Patterson. Oh, Rabbit an outstanding play. Venning gets it over. Highlight real stuff. Pavlik, the finish to the point of the game. And McMaster's got an 11-10 lead. It was spectacular work by Fujisawa at the net. And then Graton with the acrobatic dig. Fujisawa floats one. Zimmerman short set and nicely done by Tompkins. Not nearly as fancy as his fellow middle Pavlik, but both get points for their respective teams. Here's Reed Venning. Big high toss right down the middle. Graton, Fujisawa, back set Patterson, great play by Sitzna in the middle. It's a block by Pavlik. And Pavlik is feeling it. He was a second team all-star. Patterson with the serve. Venning into the net, 13-11, McMaster. There's been one turning point in this set. That was when Maxime Gretton stepped to the service line with McMaster trailing 7-4. When Queens finally got him off the service line, it was 8-8. And since then, McMaster has slightly pulled away. One point game is Patterson with a flat serve. He tried to roll and finesse it. 13 to 12. Ziglitsis. Uh, seemed to be saying it all night long. Another OUA All-Star. That one was thrown too far in front of himself and it just sailed. Pavlik has added a power element to his serve. He'll float one and it also kind of bloop one over. This is the floater. 
Sitzna. It's in. McMaster's defense consisted of getting out of the way and hoping it went wide. It didn't. So Dax Tompkins, the big six foot eight middle player. Serve, high toss, oh boy. He got way on top of that one. There's no need for any clarification there. Brendan Mills to serve. Queens lining up four along the back. A beautiful high toss by Mills, but the ending wasn't what he wanted. Fifteen to fourteen. It swung back between one and two points. The last little bit. Floating serve Zimmerman set up for Mills. Brendan Mills, who somehow wasn't an all-star this year, with an all-star type play. Here's Graton McMaster hoping for more of the same for Graton. And this could be another swing in this set. Free hit, perfectly placed. Kaiken, 17, 14, McMaster. Also tracking the McMaster women who are playing in St. Catharines and are in the third set. Brock leading 18 to 10. Time out taken. Milk to Go is the exclusive dairy partner of the OUA and pre presenting sponsor for today's Player of the Game, Milk to Go Sport. Let's keep going. Time out on the floor, Mac by three. I belong. 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 Saying I belong carries significance. It goes Both teams back on the floor. McMaster with a 17-14 lead. A timeout maybe to disrupt the rhythm of Graton. Graton with his trademark skyward look. Big serve, great diving play made. Venning was blocked. It was Litsis with the diving return. Great reaction and attempt by Ragosi, but too much power on the second attempt for Venning. So here's Eric. Sixna already an ace here this evening, along with a service error. Big high toss, clips the net. Kirkhoff handles it. Fujisawa back set. Mills, great reaction by Rabbit, and over it goes. Courtesy, and then finished off by Kaiken after Litz has got it over. Great composure by McMaster. So one of McMaster's situational substitutions for serving purposes. Out of the Garden City of St. Catharines, Peter Pilling, just a little bit right of center. Good spinning serve, set up. Roll shot by Venning. Patterson, he got blocked, it's in. It looked like Venning got up. Along with Zabiak. And 
now there's a little clarification needed on the substitution. Zavzik steps uh, down and Benjamin Moffitt, the senior local product from Kingston in as Queens, his first situational server. High toss and not the situation that Moffitt was hoping for. Here's Fujisawa. Handled by Litsis, set up for Venning, blocked. Set up again for Venning, a flat-footed one. It's a great play by Venning. Mills blocked, and Pavla keeps it alive. Patterson off the block. It's a point for McMaster. So both teams flexing their muscles. And and both teams showing off their defense. Fujisawa. They'll set it up for the short set. This time it is down the line, off the block, and good from Ziglitzis. to the surface line for Reed Venning. Way too ahead of himself, but he really hammered the serve. Patterson the return. And speaking of hammering, oh my goodness, Brendan Mills with authority. Patterson to serve. McMaster up 21-17. Good roll serve by Patterson. Litsis off the block. Will convert frustrated Brendan Mills who thought he got up in good shape. Litsis though. 15 kills in their quarter semi-final win against Brock last weekend. Clips the net, Kirkhoff handles it. Short set, Pavlik. And Pavlik is feeling it. Set up in his offense office. He has been outstanding here in the first. McMaster three points away from a one nothing lead against Queens. Pavlik to serve, he'll float one. Zimmerman, middle set. Oh, what a block by Grato. Graton, Rebecca Moore with the block. Timeout, Queens. McMaster on the verge of the first. From the window to the party, getting it up in it, bouncing. We does it big up in it, bouncing. Stats and green up in it, bouncing. Second and final timeout here in the first. McMaster. 23-18 is the lead for the maroon and gray. As Tyler Pavlik is charged with trying to close the deal from the service line. Floater, opportunity, net joust, and won by Greta. 24-18, game point for McMaster. Pavlik, power serve. And 
who's going to get the point? McMaster. As Sixna sends it long. McMaster 25, Queens 18 in the first. We've got the second coming up on OUA TV and CBC Sports. I belong. 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 Saying I belong carries significance. It goes beyond individual or team performance. It touches on the broader social context of the representation within sport. Saying I belong conveys a powerful message. A message of empowerment, resilience, and the breaking of barriers. It signifies determination to overcome obstacles. And succeed in an environment that may not always be inclusive. Or representative of diverse backgrounds. Saying I belong asserts the right to be recognized, respected, and valued. It hides a desire to challenge stereotypes and to promote diversity. It inspires others from similar backgrounds to pursue their dreams in sport while feeling supported. Saying I belong can also serve as a reminder to the sports community. A reminder of the importance of inclusivity, equal opportunity. And create an environment that celebrates and embraces diversity. It can pave the way for greater representation. And contribute to positive change in the industry. Saying I belong is a powerful affirmation. That everyone has a rightful place in the sport. Ontario University Athletics has more than 4,000 female student athletes getting into the game. Some are playing for the little girl in the stands, aspiring to be a varsity athlete like them. Some are playing for the powerful group of allies that surround them both on and off of the field. And some are playing to show that talent, dedication, and hard work transcend the labels of gender. Many females, however, see their sport journey end during adolescence. For those who continue on, varsity athletics offers opportunity. It offers community. It's a means to not only continue your dream on the court, but excel beyond it. Because some student athletes may be looking to become Olympians and world champions. Some may see their passion for playing turn into a call for coaching. And some may aim to transform their athletics into prominent positions beyond the sporting world altogether. But for whatever their motives or goals, it's important to have the means to pursue them. It's important to feel like you can inspire the little girl in the stands, compete with your teammates, and break down any barriers to get to where you want to be. And above all else, it's important to remember that we are one. Ready to go for game number two. Fujisawa to get us going. A quick update from St. Catharines. Brock winning the third set, 25-21, to take a 2-1 lead on McMaster. Big time hops and a bigger time finish for Graton. one nothing McMaster. So that is the final of the Quigley Cup happening in the Garden City of St. Catharines and McMaster women hoping to extend to a fifth. Back set Venning, great job by Ragosi, better job by Fujisawa. Let's see if they go with Venning again. It's another back set for Venning and that's off the block. Patterson just a half a tick late. And as a result, didn't get on top of the ball. We're tied at one. Dax Tompkins. Seven kills in the two games versus McMaster this year. Tompkins clips the line and Brendan Mills rolls slash dives slash sits out of the way. And it goes wide, two on McMaster. 
You wonder how Brady Patterson handles the big stage of an OUA final. This rookie of the year, though, has been fantastic. Nice serve. That's an opportunity for McMaster's. Litsis couldn't keep it on his own side. And when you set it up for Graton, you will pay. Graton was relatively quiet in the first set for Graton's standards. He has shown up twice here already in the second. Patterson. Sixna, Sixna with the return, and Sixna rolls shots. Ragosi, Fujisawa, Mills off the block. That will do. And Queens, if they're a hair off, McMaster with their power game able to jump on it. And the Marauders with an early 4-1 lead. Patterson on the serve, straight up in the air, sits, and that's a great back set by Zimmerman for Zabjek. Really tough for Zimmerman. The only place he could go was backwards. Kept it off the net, set it up perfectly for big Zabjek. Zimmerman on the serve, opportunity for Queens. That's no problem for Sixna as both teams struggling a little bit with their return game. You set up teams like this, really any team in the OUA volleyball, it's going to be a quick and easy point. Chris Zimmerman out of Prince George, BC. Kirkhoff with a misfire. And that time Kirkhoff tried to overcorrect on the return. So there's some magic behind that. Zimmerman serve he comes in spinning and dipping. That's a ace. As Patterson can't get and you could see the last second dip and if you watch Zimmerman and how he serves he really flicks the wrist straight back and then kind of drives that wrist forward and it knuckles in and that's a little flatter and again Kirkhoff struggled Graton it's long and five in a row from the Gales turning a 4-1 deficit into a 6-4 lead and Zimmerman has been a momentum shifter from the service line for the Gales. Kirkhoff, Fujisawa, back set Mills, and McMaster will get Zimmerman away from the service line. But now they trail in the second six to five. Tyler Pavlik. The potential net battle. McMaster backs off. That's a good move. It's set up for Gritton off the block, kept alive by Venning. And Venning will try to finish, but is sent back. Beautiful block, Brandon Mills. And then Pavlik can't continue the momentum with a service error, and it's 7-6 Gales. <laughs> Eric Sixna. Big, oh, beautiful spinning serve, diving Kirkhoff. Graton off the block, and they get the best server off the line and tie it at seven thanks to that Graton kill. So Brendan Mills will serve for McMaster. Big high toss. Beautiful shot from the left side by Litsis. After a great return by Rabbit, the libero. 
who must be thrilled to be in the Burridge Gymnasium given that he is from Hamilton. Zabjek, Fujisawa, Greton, roll shot, handled by Sixna. Set up and over hitting it was Lipsis. And that went way wide. So Zimmerman has been the difference maker in the second set from the service line. It's the difference maker from the first set. Maxime Graton serving for McMaster. Right into the net, right back to Queens. Reed Venning. That one is just long. It really dipped at the last minute. It looked like it was going way long, but there was definitely a dip at the last minute, but still about a foot or two beyond that back line. Kaiken to serve, tied at nine. About the spot, McMaster started to establish a lead. Not gonna happen this time. Queens with a one-point lead. And Litsis. Couple of aces against McMaster this year. Not that time, though. Back and forth we go with service errors. Fujisawa floats one, Lixis handled, handles it, Venning off the block. And the blonde bomber, Venning, gets the serve right back to the Gales. Tompkins right down the middle. Great serve, Patterson perfect position. Graton, right down the pipe off the block. When Graton gets set up and is able to launch himself like that, you may as well just get ready for the next point. Patterson, we're tied at 11. Two of the top five battling here at the Burridge Gymnasium. It was announced as a sellout yesterday. And Patterson sends it long back to a one point lead for the Gales. And here's Zimmerman again. And diving play by Kirkhoff. That set McMaster scrambling. And the Gales have a two point lead. It's that Zimmerman serve again. Patterson misfired when he tried to return it. Pavlik can't finish. Middle set Pavlik and scrambling Rabit with a good job and the player of the year shows why he's the player of the year. Queens to a three point lead. McMaster's first timeout of the evening. From the window to a new ball, we get in it up in the kit, bouncing. We does it big up in the kit, bouncing. Stacks and get up in the kit, bouncing. We get in it up in the kit, from the window to a new ball, we get in it up in the kit.
master crowd trying to implore their team to come back here in the second. Plenty of noise being made by the Queens fans as well. Zimmerman again, he is big trouble for McMaster from the serve. It is 15-11 after that ace. And McMaster, a frustrated bunch right now, trying to figure out this serve by Zimmerman. Kirkhoff again didn't hit it true. Breton off the block. Rabbit did well. Blocked! Sixna got it sent back by Pavlik, and there was nobody in the backcourt for the Gales. Pavlik to serve. His floating serve, Zimmerman, middle set. Great reaction by Pavlik. Graton tried to place it. They set it up, Venning, Fujisawa. Nice defense, Patterson for Graton. Again, he tried to place it, Venning right there. Back set and finally getting the job done was Zabjek. McMaster never got the power game going. Got it? Oh, what a serve by Six. A great return by Kirkhoff. Venning, it's long. Sixteen to thirteen. McMaster has neutralized the momentum, but they still trail. Oh, Mills with an ace. The return landed off the back wall over the scoreboard. Mills. Sets up the big serve and it's into the net. Isaac Zabjek for the Gales. Zabjek, School of Kinesiology and Health Studies student. Greta. Off the block, 17-15, Greton to serve. And to say this is a critical juncture of the set and a potential momentum shifter would be an understatement. Set up six na and Patterson into the second row and Greton gets it over. Set up. Litz is defended. Patterson over us. Brady Patterson, perfect placement. He made the play of the point going into the second row and he finished it. 17-16. Queens now only by one. Gratton, high toss, it is long. Just a little bit too much as uh, Gratton tried to spin. Reed Venning. Oh, that's a beautiful serve by Venning. Cross-court, not a thing McMaster can do about it. Power and a little bit of a late kick. Roll serve. Patterson returned it. And Mills is blocked. Alexis 
Looks to his bench for support. Gales out to a four point lead after that Litzes block. McMaster using their second and final timeout. I belong. 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 Saying I belong carries significance. It goes beyond individual or team performance. It touches on the broader social context of the representation of their sport. Saying I belong conveys a powerful message. A message of empowerment, resilience, and the breaking of barriers. It signifies determination to overcome obstacles. And succeed in an environment that may not always be inclusive. Or representative of diverse backgrounds. Saying I belong asserts the right to be recognized, respected, and valued. It hides a desire to challenge stereotypes and to promote diversity. It inspires others from similar backgrounds to pursue their dreams in sport while feeling supported. Saying I belong can also serve as a reminder to the sports community. A reminder of the importance. Calling all OUA fans, the OUA TV Premium Pass available now. With that pass, you can enjoy ad-free experience, watch all live and on-demand games anytime. Clip and share your favorite moments, enjoy live DVR. Learn more about the Premium Pass and purchase yours today at OUA.TV. Serve, sent, long, 20 to 17. But McMaster is chasing the second set. And Peter Pilling checking into the game to serve. Ace for Pilling, just what you want from your situational substitution. 2018. Small window that Pilling placed it in. Good roll serve. Set up for Leitzis and nothing that Pilling could do. And Leitzis is one of those special players for Queens. Can really do it all. And Leitzis will serve. Had a couple of aces in the semifinal game. Back it goes to McMaster and Fujisawa. Again, first team all-star honors for Fujisawa. Float serve. And a nice job. I think it was Zimmerman in the middle with the misdirection, catching McMaster off guard. Gales are three points away from locking this one up at one. And there's nowhere for McMaster to hide. They've used both of their timeouts. In to serve Oliver Prentice for Queens. Mills, a little bit more inconsistent than he would like as he sends that one wide. So London, Ontario is where Oliver Prentice hails from. Six foot four, looks to get Queens one step closer to a 1-1 tie. Mills will get the surf back for McMaster. There's work to do though for the Marauders. They'll turn to the OUA Rookie of the Year, Brady Patterson. Good serve. Leitzis handles it. Back it goes for Venning. Oh, Greta! Set it back. Rabbit couldn't get out of the way. 23-21. Time out for the Gales. But they've still got a two-point lead in the second. From the Big up in it, bouncing. Stacks and green up.
So they spent one as they're trying to nudge this one to a second game victory. Patterson on the serve, roll serve. Here's six, no, blocked. Will it stay in? Rabbit played it. Zimmerman short set, too much for Fuja. Samoa to handle from Zabchek. 24-21, Queens. They will turn to Zimmerman, who was completely befuddled McMaster here tonight. And I never thought I'd have to use the word befuddled. He's looking to close the deal. Set up, Mills to keep things going, and he does. 24-22. And McMaster goes, not yet. Here's Pavlik. Rabbit the return. Oh my goodness. What an exclamation point put on the set by Eric Sixna, who just destroyed that volleyball. Gales win the second, 25-22. We're all locked up at one at the Forsyth Cup. And you're watching it on OUA TV and cbcsports.ca. I belong. 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 Saying I belong carries significance. It goes beyond individual or team performance. It touches on the broader social context of the representation of our sport. Saying I belong conveys a powerful message. A message of empowerment, resilience, and the breaking of barriers. Signifies determination to overcome obstacles. And succeed in an environment that may not always be inclusive. Or representative of diverse backgrounds. Saying I belong asserts the right to be recognized, respected, and valued. It hides a desire to challenge stereotypes and to promote diversity. It inspires others from similar backgrounds to pursue their dreams in sport while feeling supported. Saying I belong can also serve as a reminder to the sports community. A reminder of the importance of inclusivity, equal opportunity. And create an environment that celebrates and embraces diversity. It can pave the way for greater representation. And contribute to positive change in the industry. Saying I belong is a powerful affirmation. That everyone has a rightful place in the sport. Ontario University Athletics has more than 4,000 female student athletes getting into the game. Some are playing for the little girl in the stands, aspiring to be a varsity athlete like them. Some are playing for the powerful group of allies that surround them both on and off of the field. And some are playing to show that talent, dedication, and hard work transcend the labels of gender. Many females, however, see their sport journey end during adolescence. For those who continue on, Varsity Athletics offers opportunity. It offers community. It's a means to not only continue your dream on the court, but excel beyond it. Because some student athletes may be looking to become Olympians and world champions. Some may see their passion for playing turn into a call for coaching. And some may aim to transform their athletics into prominent positions beyond the sporting world altogether. But for whatever their motives or goals, it's important to have the means to pursue them. It's important to feel like you can inspire the little girl in the stands, compete with your teammates, and break down any barriers to get to where you want to be. And above all else, it's important to remember that
Ready to go for the third. Even though these two teams swept each other during the regular season, few people thought that there would be another sweep tonight on either side. And Queens battling back 25-22 the score in the second. Congratulations to the Brock Badgers who will enter next weekend's women's volleyball tournament right here at McMaster as the OUA champions. They knock off the host McMaster Marauders in four sets. So McMaster now will wait and see what their seed will be for the finals, which will begin next Friday here at the Burridge Gymnasium, where there is a similar crowd expected. Mac women, we know, will play at six next Friday. Seedings, I believe, will be determined later tonight. Gales will start. Third set, and it will be Zig Litsis getting things underway. One nothing, McMaster. Jared Kaiken, six foot seven, first year player. Serve handled and Sixna closed the second and is in fine form early in the third. Here's Zabjek. Toss is abject. It is in for an ace. Queen showing why they are simply the best serving team in Ontario. Two hundred and nineteen aces during the regular season. Fujisawa. Oh, that's crafty by Fujisawa. Disguised his intentions until the last possible moment. Fujisawa to serve, and that one just kept on going. Like it entered a wind tunnel. Gales lead 3-2. Zimmerman to serve. Patterson off the block, kept alive by a rabbit. Zimmerman sets it up. Sixna gets it sent right back. Mills and Pavlik timed their jump perfectly. Here's Patterson. Back to Queens. The Gales leading 4-3 in the third. Eric Sixna. Explosive serve at times. And you just saw exactly what I meant. He targeted the back corner where Patterson was. Long and a sigh of relief from McMaster. Beautiful floating serve. And 
that's in. Yeah, that's in. Reed Venning delivered. Gales getting their left and right side power game going here in the third. Dax Tompkins on the serve. Huge high toss. Patterson, Fujisawa, Mills, block, kept alive by Graton. And Leitz is not phased at all by that scrambling reactionary McMaster defense, 7-4. serve withered away and died. So here's Brendan Mills. Almost seemed like he changed his mind at the last minute. And Reed Venning will step to serve. Gales armed with an 8-5 lead in this pivotal third. Venning, huge power. Patterson did well. Mills just has to get it over. Venning to finish. Fujisawa blocked. And a good play by Litsis. Mills to finish again. Oh, what a play by Rabbit to one hand one. Almost in the crowd. Graton and Rabbit again. Net battle, who's gonna win it? The Gales do, and they've got a 9-5 lead. What a play by Lexon Rabbit, who was on the stairs almost, and flicked it back with one hand. Timeout, McMaster. Queens leads by four. The Gales have elevated their game for sure even more here in the third. And that was after they won the second 25 to 22. Both teams back on the floor. Venning back on the service line. Roll serve, took something off it, set up for Gret. Oh! And Lex and Rabbit could do a lot of things, but that one he couldn't handle. Gretton, always a focused, intense look on its face. He sets it up, fake serve, too much though. And Queens has definitely been the better serving team so far this evening at the Bird's Gym. Zig Litsis off the net, Kirkhoff, Fujisawa, short set, Kaiken. Leitzis gets up, Rabbit will set it up. Tough shot sent right back. 
It was ambitious by Sixna. Kind of fading away, a little bit flat-footed, and Kaiken was perfectly positioned. McMaster trying to climb back here in the third. And it'll be Jared Kaiken on the serve. Rolls serve, Leitz has played it. Zimmerman sets it up, and that's how you do it. Sixna with the finish. Isaac Zabjek on the serve. Big high toss and a little bit clumsy that one was. So Fujisawa will set his sights from the service line. Traditional floating serve, Zimmerman the set down the pipe. They'll call the violation against the Gales. Eleven nine, McMaster trying to catch the Gales here in the third. Net battle coming. Beautiful shot by Sixna had McMaster scrambling all over the place. Queens has gone to Sixna time and time again here in the third. Zimmerman, a service error. And Zimmerman, who was the hero of the second set from the service line for Queens, has been one and done twice now here in the third. Brady Patterson. McMaster's serving has not been one of their strong points here in the third. And it has prevented them from leveling this set. It's 13 to 10 Gales. And here's Eric Sixna. A little right of center for the OUA Aces leader. And again, we get into this trading back and forth service errors. Pavlik, floater, Zimmerman, back set, Venning, and a beautiful shot by Venning. Pavlik got caught at the back, 14-11 Gales. Big high toss, free shot for Leitzis, but he was on the net. And the point will go to McMaster. A little bit of a mental error made by Leitzis. He had the free shots and couldn't keep away from the net. Mills. And again, a service error for McMaster. Venning, big serve, will give Queens the opportunity here. Zimmerman leads this long. Fifteen to thirteen. Graton on the serve from McMaster. Got to keep it in the court. And he does. Oh, what a block by Kaiken! Leitzes was coming right down the pipe and delivered a powerful strike. Mm -hmm. 
Gretton hoping to tie the game. Roll serve, Zimmerman sets it. Leets this, diving play, Rabbit. Venning gets it over, opportunity, McMaster. Oh, and a misfire by Patterson. And the Gales heave a sigh of relief as they maintain their lead. Sixteen to fourteen. Big serve, that's an ace. Graton couldn't get out of the way. As Leitzis delivers. Kirkhoff, Fujisawa, Mills off the block. 17 to 15. Place served by Pilling. Fujisawa. Patterson off the block. 17 16, another opportunity for McMaster to tie. Hilling tried to catch that line and he missed. It's been a couple of opportunities for McMaster to tie up this pivotal third. Queens though has been able to fend them off so far. Oliver Prentice who came in at this point in the second set will serve from the right corner for the Gales. Long. Fujisawa charged with the burden of trying to tie this one up. Fujisawa into the net. Unofficially 36 service errors between the two teams, 18 apiece. Queens with eight aces, McMaster with just two. Here's Zimmerman. Kirkhoff, Fujisawa, Mills. Great defense by the Gales. Back it goes to Mills. Well, Tompkins and Venning got Mills the first time. Mills would not be denied a second time. So Jason Heidbert will come in. Another one of the situational servers that McMaster likes to utilize. Heidbert handled by Leitzis, short set Tompkins and Fujisawa reacted and sent it over the hands of Heidbert. So again, the Gales 20 to 18. OUA Player of the Year, likely all Canadian, Eric Sixna. Off the net, Fujisawa, Graton roll shot. Good diving play, Zimmerman. What a great net battle. Kept alive, and it's long. No, they call it in. Oh, there might be some clarification needed on this call. Great point, though, by the Gales. McMaster looked like they'd won it on the net battle. Brad Dowes is looking for somebody 
to talk to finally calls a timeout. Gales lead 21-18 in the third. Don't miss a minute of the action thanks to OUA.TV with hundreds of games from around the OUA. Live or on demand each year, this streaming home for the OUA lets you follow your favorite teams on their quest for a coveted OUA championship. Visit OUA.TV to watch. And tonight's coveted championship is the Forsyth Cup. McMaster looking for the three-peat. Gales looking to win for the first time since 2019 when ironically they beat McMaster in five sets in Queens. 21-18 in the third for Queens as we're tied up at one. Six and a big serve, Kirkhoff handled it, Gretton. Beautiful shot from the left side. But McMaster has been playing catch up for much of the third here. Pavlik, floater, Rabbit handles it. Set up off the block, Pavlik hustles to keep it in. Patterson, Gretton for the finish, no! Leitzis was in good position. Leitzis, long! Came down the pipe. 21-20, and McMaster has been in this position several times here in the third. Trying to tie the game. Pavlik dumps the serve over. Zimmerman set, and once again, Queen says, no, you're not catching up to us. Leitzis delivers. Queens coach Gabriel de Groot still not real happy about the call that went against his team a couple points ago. Long as Tompkins. Again, got a little too much. Here's Brendan Mills, 22-21, Queens. What a set this has been, Mills. Rabbit had no choice but to play. It leads us to finish off the block. Great play by Ragosi. And then over hit by Brendan Mills, 23-21, Queens. Reed Venning coming right down the middle. Graton, tough set, Fujisawa, tough shot by Graton. He somehow stayed away from the net and used the left hand. What a play by Maxime Graton, and he will serve. And again, it's Graton can end this set in a hurry for McMaster if he's locked in on his serve. Rabbit plays it. Zimmerman with the set. Leets this. Pancake by Mills, but nothing he could do with it. Set point Gales. And they will turn to Zig Leitzis to give them a 2-1 lead. The 
the crowd involved. Kirkhoff, great return. Fujisawa, Kaikam, or Patterson, excuse me. Led with the left, smashed with the right, 24-23. Pavlik to serve, to keep McMaster in it. Queens with both of their timeouts will use one right now with a scant one point lead. Set point for Queens, 24-23. Pavlik on the serve. And the McMaster fans and bench are, and players are all saying it would be a mighty nice time for an ace for Tyler Pavlik. Correction, Jared Kiken. Zimmerman, and it's kept alive. Sixna couldn't finish. Mills goes for placement. Pancake, great job, grabs Hall, over it goes. Sixna thought he had it done. Set up in the middle, and the set will belong to Queens on the violation. McMaster was scrambling magnificently, but it's the Gales who will take a two games to one lead on the Marauders, winning the second or third, 25-23. Fourth set coming up on OUA TV and cbcsports.ca. From the window to everybody getting lit up in the kit, thousand We does it big up in the kit, thousand Stacks and lit up in the kit, thousand We get a lit up in the kit From the window to everybody getting lit up in the kit, thousand We does it big up in the kit, thousand I belong. 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 Saying I belong carries significance. It goes beyond individual or team performance. It touches on the broader social context of the representation of their sport. Saying I belong conveys a powerful message. A message of empowerment, resilience, and the breaking of barriers. It signifies determination to overcome obstacles. And succeed in an environment that may not always be or representative of diverse backgrounds. Saying I belong asserts the right to be recognized, respected, and valued. It highlights a desire to challenge stereotypes and to promote diversity. It inspires others from similar backgrounds to pursue their dreams in sport while feeling supported. Saying I belong can also serve as a reminder to the sports community. A reminder of the importance of inclusivity, equal opportunity. And create an environment that celebrates and embraces diversity. It can pave the way for greater representation. And contribute to positive change in the industry. Saying I belong is a powerful affirmation. That everyone has a rightful place in the sport. Ontario University Athletics has more than 4,000 female student athletes getting into the game. Some are playing for the little girl in the stands, aspiring to be a varsity athlete like them. Some are playing for the powerful group of allies that surround them both on and off of the field. And some are playing to show that talent, dedication, and hard work transcend the labels of gender. Many females, however, see their sport journey end during adolescence. For those who continue on, Varsity Athletics offers opportunity. It offers community. It's a means to not only continue your dream on the court, but excel beyond it. 
because some set number four coming up here on OUA TV and cbcsports.ca, OUA.ca, by the way, your source for scores, stats, schedules, and stories from around the conference, spanning 20 members, 23 sports, 39 championships, including tonight's Forsyth Cup men's volleyball finale. The online hub for OUA information helps fans dive deeper into your favorite sports teams and standouts from around the conference. Visit OUA.ca to learn more. McMaster here won the first 25-18. It's been Queens in the next two, 25-22, 25-23. Gales looking to close out the Marauders. When Queens beat McMaster in 2019, they came back from a two sets to one deficit to win 3-2 and a miscommunication and an ace for Fujisawa to start off set number four. McMaster hoping for some of that magic here tonight. A sellout crowd that has been on the edge of their seats and or making noise all night long. Fujisawa has rabbit diving. Sixna off the block. Great play by Ragosi. Here is Patterson. He was denied by Zimmerman and Zabjek. Pavlik in the middle finishes. Fujisawa, Zimmerman, Sixna, net battle won by Brendan Mills. Quick start, just what McMaster was looking for here in the fourth. Three nothing, Fujisawa serving. Leets us the return here, six in a roll shot. Fujisawa keeping it going. Tough one for Brendan Mills, but he did great and won the point. Well, Mills just came out swinging on that point. When it looked like it was just going to be a net joust. Robbie Fujisawa, fifth serve. Zimmerman the set, six to blocked, six to blocked. It's five, nothing for McMaster. Brendan Mills exploding here in the fourth set and the Gales are forced to a quick timeout trailing five, nothing. Nothing McMaster, not phased by having their backs against the wall here. The Forsyth Cup. Looking to win it for the third time in a row. OUA Men's Volleyball Championship is in Kingston next weekend. Short set, beautifully placed shot by Isaac Zabjek. And Queens finally gets a crooked number on the scoreboard. Both these teams will be there. But you want to hang a banner in your gym, lift the Forsyth Cup, and also it matters for seating as well. Zabjek unorthodox with his serve, clips the net, Mills off the block. Point for McMaster. Tompkins and Zimmerman tried to keep it in play. That was the tandem defending. Patterson, the serve. 
leads us the return. Short set, Tompkins really had to stretch to go, get on top of it and did very well. And Zimmerman, six foot four. Prince George, BC. And that one just took off on Zimmerman. There's that bloop serve by Pavlik. Set up, Venning, nicely defended by Pavlik. And over it goes by Gretton. Another spectacular play by Maxime Gretton. So creative, so diverse. The ability to improvise. That's Maxime Gretton. That's why he's a first team OUA All Star. Pavlik again just bunts one. Oh. Well. <laughs> When Pavlik tells that story later on, it'll be a power smash to the corner on that serve rather than the excuse me bloop. This time he flattens it out, free hits for Mills, and it's all McMaster here in the fourth. 10 2 is the score. again with a very deceptive serve and then missing it was Tompkins almost a free hit and Queens will use their second and final timeout McMaster threatening to run away with the fourth they lead 11-2 Today, March 8th, is International Women's Day. The OUA, along with McMaster University, is pleased to celebrate the incredible contributions, both on and off the playing field, of the women's student athletes, coaches, and administrators from across the conference today and every day. Let's all inspire inclusion. McMaster, an 11-2 lead here in the fourth. Oh. Almost another block, but Sixna shows why he's the OUA MVP. Kaiken couldn't keep it in play. Gales with Sixna on the serve look to continue the long climb back in to this fourth set. Twelve three, and the crowd roaring with every point their hometown marauders collect. Mills to serve. Not much to comment on that serve as it goes back to Queens. A simple overhit by Mills. Dax Tompkins, fourth year middle player, Tiverton, Ontario is his hometown. All six foot eight will launch for this serve. Clips the net, kept alive by Kaiken, Fujisawa. And then a big block. It looked like it was Zabjek who got up to deny Graton 12-5. McMaster was scurrying after that serve clipped the net. 
call from the McMaster bench and players for out, and that proved to be true. Gratton serving. Maxime Gratton. Ace for Gratton! Time Gratton backed off his trademark power, opted for finesse. Couple of aces on Saturday against Guelph. Another great serve, and Queens scrambling. And who's got the points? It's Queens. A gamble by Leitzis to go big or go home, and he found some McMaster hands defending. Reed Venning. Oh, what a surf by Venning. Again, that's the second time he's done that tonight. Puts a little spin, a lot of power. He's picked out that back corner a couple of times. Venning will look to do that again. Beautiful serve. Great job by Patterson. Patterson to finish. He has it sent back. And there's a little momentum for the Gales now. Leitzis got up. Kirkhoff with the vintage shoe tie to maybe disrupt the rhythm slightly. Venning, big high toss, another ace. Oh, Venning is serving like it's his last serve, and it's McMaster taking a timeout. Gale's climbing back in it. It's 14-9 in the fourth. It was 11-2 for McMaster at one point here in set number four, but seven out of the last 10 points reeled off by the visitors from the Limestone City. It is a violation against Benning, foot violation. And that finally ends his tenure on the service line. McMaster 15, Queens 9. Here is Jared Kiken. Good spin serve handled by a rabbit. Right down the pipe comes Sitsna. But it's McMaster on the point with the misfire. Kaiken taking plenty of time before delivering his serve, and he sends it right back to Queens, 16 to 10. Gales have done well as McMaster was threatening to blow them out here in this fourth set, 16 to 10. Still a large mountain for the Gales to climb. 17 to 10 as Leitzis buries one into the net. 
Fujisawa who got McMaster going here in the fourth with a 5-0 lead is back on the service line. Big block, Brandon Mills! 18-10, McMaster getting the momentum back. Fujisawa. Rabbit handles it. Back set, hit long, but the violation against McMaster, no, it's McMaster's point, 19 to 10, excuse me. No violation, just smashed long by Venning. And Fujisawa, again, this one here, that rainbow, Sixna handled it, and Sixna to finish. And nothing that Ragosi could do. He's a little frustrated with himself. But there's no shame in not being able to get any sort of grip on a Sixna kill attempt. Isaac Zabjek, the pride of Cambridge, Ontario, six foot eight. Off the net, Pavlik right there, Fujisawa Mills! Brendan Mills! Has simply been outstanding. He's got 15 kills and a 37% hit percentage, which any elite hitter will take any day of the week. Rabbit returning the pilling serve, Fujisawa diving. Oh, it's Pavlik with the attempted set, and Graton did so well to win, Zimmerman defending. Sixna, but Graton's in position. Oh, and McMaster managed to outfox themselves on that point. Pavlik faked it, Mills was in no position though to finish it. Zimmerman has leveled off since giving McMaster all sorts of trouble in the second. That's long. 21-12. McMaster fans love the album by Rush called 21-12 and they love the score line here in the fourth. Tyler Pavlik. And you never know what Pavlik's going to give you. Leitz is on the return, Zimmerman. Venning, great play made by Patterson. That's a roll shot for Graton. And Zimmerman hit it so high, it hit the basketball apparatus hanging over the court, and that's deemed to be out of play. And McMaster is three points away from sending this one the distance. Pavlik, another good serve. Zimmerman, cross court set. Venning, great play by Patterson. Graton! Maxime Graton, 12 kills of his own here this evening. Back set, Sixna. Way too long. Game points in double figures for McMaster. Pavlik power serve. Really a great job, actually, by Rabbit. Gretel! And the Forsyth Cup is coming down to a fifth set. McMaster romps in the fourth, 25-12. Call your friends, call your family, call your enemies. We're going five after this on OUA TV and cbcsports.ca.
I belong. 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 Saying I belong carries significance. It goes beyond individual or team performance. It touches on the broader social context of the representation of their sport. Saying I belong conveys a powerful message. A message of empowerment, resilience, and the breaking of barriers. Signifies determination to overcome obstacles. And succeed in an environment that may not always be inclusive. Or representative of diverse backgrounds. Saying I belong asserts the right to be recognized, respected, and valued. It hides a desire to challenge stereotypes and to promote diversity. It inspires others from similar backgrounds to pursue their dreams in sport while feeling supported. Saying I belong can also serve as a reminder to the sports community. A reminder of the importance of inclusivity, equal opportunity. And create an environment that celebrates and embraces diversity. It can pave the way for greater representation. And contribute to positive change in the industry. Saying I belong is a powerful affirmation. That everyone has a rightful place in the sport. Ontario University Athletics has more than 4,000 female student athletes getting into the game. Some are playing for the little girl in the stands, aspiring to be a varsity athlete like them. Some are playing for the powerful group of allies that surround them both on and off of the field. And some are playing to show that talent, dedication, and hard work transcend the labels of gender. Many females, however, see their sport journey end during adolescence. For those who continue on, Varsity Athletics offers opportunity. It offers community. It's a means to not only continue your dream on the court, but excel beyond it. Because Will the Forsyth Cup reside in Kingston or is it staying in Hamilton? We're going to find out as we race to 15 in the fifth and decisive set. And if you're not standing up, you're on the edge of your seat. Whether you're a Gales fan, player, alumni at home or here in the Birds Gym, and the same for McMaster. What a match. Fujisawa gets us going. First point to McMaster. Fujisawa has been trouble for the Gales on his serve. Another floater. Zimmerman, short set, kept going by Gratana Zabjek. Can't finish. Mills can finish, though. Oh, baby, what a play. 2-0 McMaster. Excuse me while I kiss the sky, Brendan Mills. Fujisawa. Leets us on the return, Sixna blocks. Will they try again with Sixna? They sure will! And Sixna powers it off the block and makes it 2-1. When you've got the OUA Player of the Year on your side, you don't let him sit or stand idle. Zimmerman on the serve, it's long, 3-1 McMaster. Every point just that much more magnified. Brady Patterson. Great roll serve, Rabbit handled it, and the net violation will go against the Gales. McMaster four, Queens one. Patterson. Rabbit again had some trouble. Zimmerman, the back set, Graton, elevating, blocking Sixna. Set up, Venning, off the block, 
And Queens will turn to the player who had the most aces in the OUA regular season. Eric Sixna had 52. And they would love one right here. Breton did well. Short set, Pavlik. Five, two. And Pavlik, who has unveiled a floating serve, a blooper serve, and a power serve lead in the third, will give us the floater this time. Set up, and Venning delivers for the Gales. It's 5-3 here in the fourth. Isaac Zabjek, one of two six foot eight players on the Gales, along with Dax Tompkins. It's Zabjek this time. 6 3. And you feel those surface errors just a little bit more in the fifth, don't you? Here's Brendan Mills. Roll, serve, great play, Rabbit, but it's Kaiken with the perfect placement. 7-3, McMaster. serve rabbit handles it zimmerman sets it up and off the block leetsis delivers and i'll turn to reed venning coming at you right down the middle It has to be. It is. It's 7 5. And Venning delivered an absolutely wonderful serve. And the Gales supporters are saying, How about another? This time he goes to the roll serve. Set up for Graton off the block. It's 8 5. No. They will give it to the Gales on the violation. And the Gales showing their resilience here in the fifth. Have reeled off three points in a row to turn a 7-3 deficit into now a scant 1.76 deficit. Venning just long, 8-6, and will switch ends. McMaster raced out. Gales have held firm. And as we make the turn here in the fifth, it's McMaster eight, Queens six. And it is loud here in the Burridge gym. Raton. High toss, long from Graton, 8-7. Zyglitsis, first team OUA All-Star, potential to be in the All-Canadian consideration straight up in the air Fujisawa tracks it Patterson rolls shot off the block did the job 9-7 McMaster and here comes Peter Pilling
Good serve by Pilling. Sixna denied. They'll try again. Sixna long. Oh. No, it's going to go to Queens. They say it clipped hands. It did go long. Nine eight like McMaster was trying to do in the third. The Gales are trying to catch the Marauders. Here's Dax Tompkins. Graton on the return. Fujisawa, Graton down the pipe. Fujisawa kept it going. Mills, Patterson gets it over. Opportunity for the Gales. They'll go to six in the net battle. McMaster now gets a little momentum. Mills, yes! Brendan Mills! 10-8 Marauders! You had half a thought that Mills was just gonna launch it and get too much power, but he did back off a little bit. And it's Fujisawa again. Rabbit on the return, Sixna. Great diving play by Ragosi and an acrobatic jump by Gritaw. All for naught, it's 10-9. like that horror movie villain who keeps on going. That's the Gales here in the fifth. McMaster throwing shot after shot, serve after serve. Gales are hanging tough. Fujisawa, Patterson, 11-9. So powerful. It hit the Queens player and landed in the fifth row. Jason Hyde the bird. What a situation for him to come in to serve. Only the second time we've seen Hyde Burke here tonight. Delivers it to the backcourt. Leets is on the return. Set up and it is Sixna. Cross court. Nothing McMaster could do about it. Both teams with a full complement of two timeouts each, by the way. Neither team has used one. Sixna to serve. Roll serve, but Pavlik was in great position. Greta, 12-10, McMaster! And McMaster will wear out Mills and Graton with a dab of Patterson to get the job done. Here's Pavlik. Tough serve for Litsis to handle. Litsis hanging on the net forever. Fujisawa, Graton kept alive. Graton again rolls. Shot kept alive by Patterson. The point is going to Queens. 12-11. Oliver Prentice situational server's been utilized a few times tonight by the Gales. None bigger than this moment for the Six foot four outside hitter from London. Crowd will tell you all you need to know about what happened on that point. Here's Brendan Mills. Gales will take their first timeout.
Eagles took their first time out. With McMaster two points away from winning the OUA championship in the Forsyth Cup. The crowd didn't stop rocking from the start of the timeout to the end of the timeout. And it's Brendan Mills who McMaster will turn to on the service line. Thirteen twelve. Mills sends the serve right back to Queens. Reed Venning, who has two aces tonight, will serve. He's coming right down the middle. Patterson handles it. Mills! Championship points for McMaster! And they're rising as one in the Burridge Gymnasium. Timeout, Queens. They continue to chant. They continue to wave flags and banners and hold signs. And Marauder Nation is standing. And now the Gales fans have joined them for the closing moments of what has been a classic. Gretton looking to put a point of emphasis for McMaster. Roll serve. And for the third time in a row, the Forsyth Cup belongs to McMaster. They've won in five sets, 15 to 12 in the fifth, and listen to them roar. a match your scores McMaster wins the first 25 18 Queens wins the second 25 22 the third 25 23 McMaster rolls in the fourth 25 12 and it's 15 to 12 in the fifth oh you don't think the Gales will be ready and waiting for whatever opponent that they will face next weekend in Kingston for the men's championship. This Gales team, number five in U Sports, will be locked and loaded and ready. But right now it's McMaster adorned with those OUA championship hats that you dream of wearing. They are the victors. We'll stay with the broadcast for a little bit and the award ceremonies. Milk to Go is the exclusive dairy partner of the OUA and they are the presenting sponsor for today's player of the game. Milk to Go Sport, let's get going. A couple of candidates from McMaster. Likely the player of the game will come from the winning team. And if you're doing it by statistics, Brendan Mills had 18 kills, an ace, only five kill errors, and a fine hit percentage of 43.3. Max Graton, 
15 kills, .278. If you're looking at Queens, Eric Sixna had 13, but he also had 11 errors and was held to a .056 percentage. Zig Litsis had 11 kills. Reed Venning had nine kills. And we'll await the milk to go sport player of the game. Not a person has left. Not a person has sat. Not a person has stopped making noise since the point ended. And McMaster now applauding the fans. A Marauder team that lost a legendary coach in Dave Preston who went to coach in Australia. Brad Dowes took over his first year. No Sam Cooper, no Mateus Ladarski. But McMaster, who were expected to dip a little bit, did the opposite. They rose and they win the Forsyth Cup for the 12th time since 2004, 2005. Milk to go, player of the game. And it's Brendan Mills. A deserving honor for Brendan Mills. When you have 18 kills and only five mistakes, you've done something. We'll stay for the presentation of the Forsyth Cup. Silver medalists, again, no shame for the Gales, who will host the volleyball championships next week. And the Gales winning a couple of close sets against McMaster, likely thought maybe it was going to be their night. McMaster, though, jumping out in the fourth set, 5 nothing, really put the visitors on their heels. It was 11-2 at one point for the Marauders. The Gales pulled it back, but never really got closer than six. And McMaster finished with a flourish, and then the Gales chased McMaster for the fifth set. Again, it was a quick start by McMaster. 7-3, Queens pulled it to 8-6 when they made the turn and switched sides. And from then on, it was back and forth. Every player on both teams sacrificing. Gales were the fifth ranked team in U Sports. And even though they lose in the OUA final as hosts, a dangerous team to face. This Gales team, as we've talked about all night long, they have the OUA player of the year in Eric Sixna. They have Chris Zimmerman. They have Zig Litsis. They've got Lexan Rabbit, OUA Award of Merits, EDI champion, and second team all star. McMaster, though, as the number three team ranked in the country, as Ontario champions, could be likely number two. Outside shot at number one, depending on when it is happening in the rest of the country. 
And they lost in four sets last year, did the Marauders, to Trinity Western, where the team they thought could overcome their longtime foe and nemesis and albatross in Trinity Western. They'll look to win their first national championship ever next week. Silver medals have been handed out. And the 23-24 gold medals presented by the athletic director of McMaster, Sean Burke. It's a moment players never forget, even if they're winning it for the second or third year in a row. Pavlik, Fujisawa, Gretton, all part of all three championship victories, amongst others. And how about the youngsters? Jared Kaiken, Brady Patterson, first year getting gold in their first year and a chance to compete for the national championship. There's a banner to be presented and raised here at the Burridge Gym. Happen Johannes expected to be a big part of this Marauder team injured. He's getting his gold medal. Aiden Polonka, situational server for McMaster all year long, hasn't been utilized in the last couple of games. Brad Dows, how about that? Your first year as the head coach, and you're an OUA champion. Last year, there was a Marauder squad that was emotional as they said goodbye to one of the most decorated coaches, not only in Ontario, not only in McMaster, but in the country, Dave Preston. But here we are again, about a year later, and McMaster are champions. Championship banner ready to be handed out along with the important hardware, the Forsyth Cup. And there you have it. OUA champions. For the third consecutive year, the McMaster Marauders. And now the whole team will join the celebration. And the celebration likely will continue long after we're off the air, but then it'll be business as usual for the Maroon and Gray, who will head to Kingston next weekend for the U Sports Championships, along with these Queens Gales. A final reminder from providing resources to officiating games to telling stories and more, the OUA would like to extend a sincere thank you to all of their tremendous partners, milk to go Sport, Centaur Products, Invest Hotels, Baron Rings, and Nothers the Award Store for the continued support of University Sport in the province of Ontario and their meaningful contributions to the overall OUA experience. Next weekend here at McMaster, they will host the Women's U Sports Championships. The women lost 3-1 tonight against Brock, who will come down as OUA champions, and McMaster will serve as the host. Seedings to come out likely before tomorrow, and we'll be here for the full championship. And that will just about do it for tonight here at the Burridge Gymnasium. Steve Clark, 
saying thank you to everybody here at McMaster University and everybody associated with OUA TV and cbcsports.ca saying good night from the Burridge Gymnasium, the volleyball capital, at least for now, of Ontario. Congratulations, McMaster. Five set winners over the Queen's Gales. And you've been watching it all on OUA TV, cbcsports.ca. Good night from the Burridge Gymnasium.